Hello guys, uh, welcome to the video uh, on the cipher on breathe, breeze. So I'm going to explain you how to uh, do the setup uh, in A and B in uh, attacking and defending sites. So I'll just start with the defense. So I'll start with the cam setup. Yep. So. In the cam, I have the, uh, this is one of the best cam setup uh, you can keep in the A side. So come to here, here. and you can just here. aim over here and uh, you can throw a jump, jump and hit it. So this will, uh, it can here. see a bit of mid uh, or mid doors and uh, all the side if they are entering, if they are walling or doing the shit. So we can see everything, a uh, kind of uh, you know, good, uh, good cam. Next, we have one more uh, cam. It's a kind of a sneaky cam. You can just go to here. Mm. So here you can see right this bar. So you just aim a bit here. Oh sorry. Fine. Yeah. So you can aim a bit here, and you can just keep. You can look up, and you just see. This is a very sneaky. It it has good cover as actually. And also you can actually try a bit uh, for side as well. I can just keep a little bit side as well. So you can see right. It's. I'll show you how effective this is. You can see the here. push off here. Like if there anyone is pushing right, uh, they. Cage triggered. See. So we can easily see if anyone is there or not. A bush plant. If you wanted if you can just. Use this cam and uh, try this. And uh, there is one more cam. This is one of the best. And uh, if you wanna play po post plant, no? you uh, you can ask the viper to wall here or something or some. And you can just come here and you can keep the cam here. And one more cam is like behind this. This was a good cam. In some situations, you can use this and you can see if the back side if they are playing like if they enter the side and. Uh, yeah, and also you can see if anyone is rotating in mid. Yep. Hmm. And there are few other cam setups, or basic cam setups. You can just uh, keep over on the top boards yeah. here, and uh, you can just see if they are, uh, if the viper is walling and the pushing side. You can just have a look, quick look here, or you can also keep. Uh, okay. And. Uh, now coming to the traps, so when you come here, there is, you can see here, there is a one dot. Uh, so you take your trap, you can just, you know, close to that, you can just keep it. And it will extend till here. Here. So it is like, uh, it can cover a large area. And also same way, you can see the second line. Uh, and you can take a trap, you can just keep it here. Uh, and also it will extend till here. So in, you can use one any one of those and you can use one more trap in the mid. So you can just go here, keep it in somewhere somewhat uh, at the corner. And yeah, it is kind of a difficult one. If they know or if if you can see if they are coming from mid. Uh, so now I'll show you something. With the cages, how you need to utilize these traps and how to use the cages as well. So I'll just uh, quickly have this uh, cam there. Now I'll just uh, I like to play here at the behind this pyramid. Yeah. Okay. So you need to have a cage over here. You just uh, aim be a little bit back from this edge. Throw your cage. Okay. So now what you can do? You can just play inside the cage. So if there, you can just play. Cage triggered. Inside this, and if there are anyone traps, right, you can just uh, quickly activate them, and you can, or you can also no need of replacing them. You can just uh, run over here, and you can just throw and activate. Them. Quickly play on your traps, and one more thing is the same. It will works for meat as well. If there are anyone traps, you can just uh, have, a, have a, you can have a cover over over there. And the really interesting Heat's one was trigger. this one, like where you can just. It's a kind of. Uh, we need a little bit practice on timing also as well, so it's kind of 
Cage risky trigger. but still yeah, like you can just have crouch over there and you can just uh, shoot there mm. and we have much other setups as well like you can just use kind of like this you can be creative by cr for uh, cypher traps you can keep like this and uh, yep and there is one trap uh, where this is kind of uh, if you want if you'd like to play over here here you can use this trap one trap can be here yeah so you can just keep it over here and you can play over here yeah. so this is what we it will do so when you have this camp you can just see the traps right um, and also here if somebody would like to uh, hide yeah. in the uh, bricks when they are uh, rushing into side so it will uh, uh, they can it is difficult to for them to destroy the trap from the front because uh, it is behind this so they will be automatic already detected and uh, they have to be open little bit open for to the uh, to the Here. back side of the air so they have to definitely turn back and shoot it so you can just time it on you can you know as you can see the outline you can just pick it on you can shoot it nice and uh, what we have else so we'll just see the setup in um, B, so in B, cage trigger. So uh, in B, what we can do? Uh, one of the uh, best camps, uh, camp in spot where we can keep is over here. You can just aim a bit here, and you can just keep the camp, and it will cover most of the site. And if they are planting, if they are uh, rushing backside, everything. And you can, main importantly, yeah. you can see the map. Okay. And uh, there is a crazy one way as well. Hmm. You can just come here. Aim at this, and you can no. You can, you can just use this H3. to activate here, and you can just okay. You can just use it as to if somebody is coming through here. You can play one way like that. And the trap setups are like uh, one. You can use it over here, and this is one of the uh, best ones. And like you can keep like this. And also you can use uh, a trap set. Okay, it's a kind of a difficult trap. Uh, they will be mostly they will be detected. What else? Uh, we can use the cages to you know, block the visions over here and mid. And if the somebody uh, triggers in these traps, you can just activate here. and you can uh, from the back side you can shoot them. Or we can actually play from here. here. And you can Cage activate trigger. the cages with some. And you can use a cam over here. Next, uh, we have also we have many. Uh, it's not like a, only one way you can use. You can use a different. You can have. We can change like this. Uh, you can somewhat like this. Got, uh, so like we have multiple setups. We can use the traps. You can change differently and you can play accordingly. And. You can use uh, different cams, like if they saw this position, right? You can use also use the cam. You can use a cam over here. You can change it to bit to here. this side, and you can also yeah. use over the top. Uh, so, like you can constantly, you can change the cam positions, and you can play. Okay. So also you can use a uh, trip over here if they're pushing more. If many are like. Uh, if the attackers are uh, used to push it mid, push from mid, you can use a trap over here. I I will be showing you now the attack side. Attack side. So uh, if there is uh, assume there is a barrier over here, uh, the initial barrier face. So they, it will be around over from here to here. So for example, if you would if you would like to sneak into here, here uh, okay. So what we can do, we can have a lineup to cover it. Here. Pre run, uh, not pre run. I mean, say like uh, as soon as the barrier drops, what you can do, you can just uh, hug to here. You can come to here. this place like a uh, hug there, and you can aim over these clouds, okay? And you can jump, jump and uh, use the case. If you activate Cage this, triggered. it will cover all this, and we will we will be having enough time to ship walk and uh, we can take take up here, okay? And and also, if you would like to 
go a and yeah. uh, you need to cover from me what you can do you can come to this rat okay and it's also it's these, these two are even before the barrier drops you can come here stand and wait till the barrier drops once the barrier drops you can directly do it so uh, just hug this wall here uh, just come a bit back and you can aim on this okay you can aim on this edge same jump pick uh, jump and press your ability now this is the same way it will cover the entire mid exactly so you can just uh, safely you can rush this ramp and uh, with your team to mid if you want to push from mid okay so if you want to push for a push from mid and if your entire team want to push from mid what you can do you can have a cipher trap over here and one one more over here be careful here from here till here they can see this entire area so make sure you have a watch if you are trying to hide here because anyway you are trying to you know here. going into the b mid sorry from a mid to a i will here. so you have a smoke or you have a case and your enter team will be or you can get here. the control of this area so once if there anyone is flanking they will be either have to destroy it or they will do this Mm, and this is one of the place where you can keep it uh, default. Be careful, there is also an alternate chance they yeah. can just do a long flank. And if uh, if your team is going to B, if everyone is going to B, what you can do? You can keep one, f uh, one per window and also one per here. And you can play into the B side if your entire team is going pushing B. Okay. And if you wanna, sometimes it's out, like there are few chances. Like if the uh, team is like slowly pushing and all, so you, if you wanna skip, you can keep a trap over here, and you can just uh, hold and play. And if the team, yep, if your team is splitting for here. B and uh, mid, what you can do, you can keep a trap like this one, and you can use a trap. Here. Over here. Okay. And as I said earlier, you can use a case and you can try to take here. the control over here and uh, slowly you can push or you have a wall or something and your team can save, uh, team or who is lurking, you can do. But be careful, it is kind of a risky play because here. there are many angles he has to cover. Next, if the team is going, trying to go a push, you can keep a trap over here and also you can same, you can use a trap over here, here. in the mid and they can just uh, enter five stack go here. if uh, if they're lurking if like a mid and uh, a push you can use a trap over here so you can come here go hold back and you can just aim to here and jump aim here and jump through so it He's will land over it. here and you can just you will get a cover from here and you can push so no need of this trap there but yeah you have those bad too. And if your team doesn't uh, is not knowing what to do, what you can do, you can just keep a trap yeah. over here and you can take a trap yeah. over here and then you just play solo or whatever. If your team is not uh, having any plan to play. So while entering as an attacker, how the camps work in the... Uh, how to use your camps in A site or B site while attacking, you can just get an early info. So you have right, you yeah. can see this place. So kind of uh, it takes a little bit practice. So you just jump pick and do right. Like you have to quickly see because they might destroy it. So you can see the entire site, almost the site, and you just you can quickly see this come back and uh, uh, sorry, you can just grab it back because they will definitely shoot it. So if they shoot it, it will take some around 40, 40, 40, 40 seconds. And if you take it, it is just 15 seconds. So yeah. This is uh, where you can just quickly get an early info for all the positions in A. And it's the same way if you want to get an early info of B, this might be a, a good place to keep the camp. So you just come here. Uh, you you here. can see, right? Yeah. 
So once you can just you are keep your camera over here and you can just see yeah. if your somebody is uh, playing here tunnel yeah. if you are playing uh, the cubby on yeah. back side kind of thing. You can just quickly get and you can just take it back. So yeah, you can be as creative as you can. You can improvise this. It's not like uh, so these are the only things. So you can have multiple things and all. And also in the mid, if you want to get the info early info, you can just keep here and you can see if there is anyone in the. Quickly, you can know if there is anyone pushing from mid doors, heaven, or uh, elbow. So yeah, I hope I think I have covered everything. Yeah, there is one sneaky trick. You know, right? Somebody yeah. will take this to open the door. I'll show you how. In both that, uh, in attack from attack spot and the defense spot. You can just keep a camera here, and you can just shoot it to here. So it will open this if you are playing, and you can confuse the enemies and uh, like uh, they are dropping and all. So if you go to the defense side and how you can do the fake uh, means, so uh, you can just keep take it up. That's it, guys, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video and it's kind of informative. Hope have a good games and uh, don't cheat. Thanks, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. This is troublesome.